No appointment needed. Just drive in. At Oil Stop drive through Oil Change, you can stay in the comfort of your own car. We'll give you a complimentary beverage. And you'll always get free top-offs, anytime, whenever. You'll get a free car wash and free Wi-Fi. Quick service with a smile. Oil Stop, how may we serve you? It's the North Coast Section Division 6 playoffs as California School for the Deaf of Fremont is in town to take on the Rinkin Valley Christian Eagles. California School for the Deaf won their game earlier in the week. Rinkin Valley Christian with the number one seed had a bye, so they are well rested and ready to go in this NCS Division 6 game. And it's Garrett Robert, the leading scorer for Rinkin Valley Christian, getting off to a nice start as he drives the baseline and scores to make it 2-0. Now it's the big fellow, Zach Dance, posting up. He goes to the left-handed skyhook and scores to make it 4-0 RVC. Now it's Gavin Hawkins with a nice steal. The length of the floor he goes and lays it in with the left hand. Rinkin Valley Christian up 6-0, but they are not done. Garrett Robert, nice drive as he weaves his way through the CSD Eagles in scores to make it 8-0 with 5.46 to go. Now it's Brian Freeman for California School for the Deaf. Nice drive. He passes to Dakota Daniels, who scores. And finally, CSD is on the board. Now it's Paul Myhouse. Nice drive to the lane. Throws it up and in. Nice play. Myhouse scoring to make it 15-2. Rinkin Valley Christian continues their run as Garrett Roberts shows nice ball control and banks this one in. Now it's Brian Freeman d up on Robert. Gets the steal. Goes off the glass to Zane Peterson, who scores for CSD. It's 25-6, however, Rinkin Valley Christian at the end of one. To the second quarter, and it's Robert with a beautiful drive and dish. Look at the no-look pass to James Lang, who lays it in for Rinkin Valley Christian. Now an offensive rebound by Benemit Tesfasalasi. He gets it to Trace Martin up top, the leading scorer for CSD. Finally gets one to go. He's been guarded closely by Garrett Robert. It's 27-9. Now it's a nice drive by Zane Peterson who goes off the glass for CSD and their head coach, Americo Peterson, signing instructions to his team. Gideon Halpin now into the game for Rinkin Valley Christian and he gets this one to drop to make it 33-11. to But Bennett Tesfasalasi with a nice play to end the half. However, it is 35-13 Rinkin Valley Christian at the intermission to the third quarter and Tess Fasolasi picking up right where he left off as he takes this one at the high post and banks it in for the CSD Eagles. Now it's Gavin Hawkins in the corner. That's a three and it's 38 to 15 Rankin Valley Christian. Paul Myhouse with great anticipation on this one. He gets the steal and the easy money at the other end to make it a 27 point lead. Now CSD trying to save it, but Hawkins is right there and he drives the length of the floor again for a 30 point lead. Trace Martin now finally gets one to go from the top as he bangs home the three for CSD and it's 54 to 22 at the end of three. To the fourth quarter now and Brian Freeman doing it again. Nice pass to Martin who lays it in. Martin starting to rack up his points. There's Martin again, this time a three from well beyond the arc as CSD tries to make things interesting. But Garrett Robert changes the momentum as he nails a three of his own to make it 59-34 with 4.40 to play. Nice offensive rebound here by Alex and Tisparov, and he lays it up and in for CSD. Nice finish for the CSD Eagles as Tristan Boren nails this one from well beyond the arc, and the crowd here at Rinkin Valley Christian appreciating the effort of both squads in this NCS game, but it's Rinkin Valley Christian 66-44, and they move on to the semifinals. Garrett Roberts, our player of the game. Nice win, you guys were hot early on. How yeah. nice was that to get off to a really good start tonight? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, we come out every day, we want to push the ball up the floor, execute our offense. Uh, we like to shoot threes because we got a lot of guys that can shoot threes, so that's something that we look for a lot. I was going to say, there's a lot of guys that scored tonight. How fun is that when everybody's getting involved in the offense? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, we don't really know who's going to be our leading scorer every night. We have tons of guys that can put the ball in the hole, so we just come out, execute our offense, see what happens. 
Now you guys had the bye. Was it tough to have the whole week off, or was it nice to rest a little bit and get ready for tonight's game? It was definitely nice to rest. I mean, we get we get lots of work every day in practice. So Coach Brunt and a few of the alumni guys to scrimmage us, so we got used to some game type stuff. So we weren't gone a full week without without any game type stuff. So it was good. Defensively, you played real well tonight. Obviously, trying to shut down their leading score. Tell us what your goal is when you're out on defense and playing against somebody who can score a lot. Uh, just stop penetration. I mean, I knew he wasn't a super good shooter, so I gave him a gap, trying to move my feet, not let him penetrate the ball much. Uh, he's a pretty good passer, so I mean, I just stopped then, focus on the teammates, uh, help me out behind me. So. so you guys are on a pretty good run right now. You got the number one seed. You're moving on to next week. What do you think this team can accomplish as you go down the stretch here toward your goal, obviously, of winning NCS? Oh, I mean, that's our goal. NCS Championship, we don't, we want anything less than that. So we come out every day, practice hard. A lot of these guys want it as bad as me. So we just come out, we do our stuff, execute our offense. Defense is our biggest thing. We're a good, tall, lanky team, lots of space to take up. So we just come out hard. All right, Garrett, well, congratulations on the win tonight, and good luck next week. Thank you.